Tim Anderson not only made it back to the All-Star game, but he was the starting shortstop for the American League in 2022. Uh, Tim Anderson was having another solid offensive year until he suffered a season-ending finger injury in August. Anderson has been a fixture at the top of the lineup for several seasons now and has become one of the faces of the White Sox franchise. Can Anderson get right physically and mentally this offseason? You are Locked On White Sox, your daily Chicago White Sox podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hey, Sox fans, welcome to Locked On White Sox. Thank you for making Lockdown White Sox your first listen each and every day. We're free and available on all platforms. Follow us on Twitter at Lockdown Sox. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, just search Lockdown White Sox. Hey, I'm your host, Nick Murawski, a lifelong diehard Chicago White Sox fan, recording this podcast just blocks from the ballpark in beautiful Bridgeport. You can find me on Twitter at Nick underscore GGTV. Really appreciate you letting me steal some of your time to talk off-season White Sox. Lockdown White Sox is part of the Lockdown Podcast Network, your team every day. Tim Anderson embodies the change the game culture that the White Sox have embraced uh, these last few seasons. He is an exciting player that has become a face of the franchise and has received national attention. Can Anderson battle back from physical and mental demands in time for the start of 2023? Also, the World Series is set and the White Sox are still searching for their new manager. Uh, if you weren't paying attention this past season... Uh, and even if you are, I'm sorry, I've got to remind you quickly, uh, our White Sox were a disappointing 81 and 81 second place in the AL Central, finished 11 games back of the Cleveland uh, Guardians. Hey, the World Series is finally a set. We've got the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the Houston Astros. That begins uh, on Friday. Phillies uh, they're a feel-good story. Uh, they, I, I will be pulling for the Philadelphia Phillies. The Houston Astros, I feel like uh, if you're not uh, from Texas, if you're not a Houston Astros fan, I feel like everybody else that has baseball fandom will be pulling uh, for the Phillies. The Astros have definitely become uh, the latest uh, version of an evil empire, uh, in my opinion. Uh, speaking of the Houston Astros, uh, we are a day away from celebrating the 17th anniversary of the Chicago White Sox sweeping the Houston Astros and capturing their first World Series title uh, since 1917. Always uh, enjoyable to reminisce about this time uh, of the year. What an incredible uh, postseason run for the White Sox. They went 11-1, uh, which the 1999 uh, Yankees uh, did as well. However, this 2022 Houston Astros team has yet to lose uh, in the postseason. Phillies have their work cut out for them, uh, that's for sure. But there is just, there's something about this Phillies team reminds me a little of the 2004 uh, Boston Red Sox. Uh, Texas Rangers officially announced Bruce Bochy as their next manager, had the whole a press conference and everything. So, you know, apparently uh, if there is an unwritten rule about holding off big announcements until after the World Series, uh, the Texas Rangers uh, did not listen. Uh, so Matt Quattraro and Pedro Griffol, uh, you know, they do not need to currently worry about postseason play. So if the White Sox were going to go in, in one of those directions, wouldn't you think the announcement would have happened already? Uh, so Ozzie Gian is apparently interviewing uh, this week uh, for the Sox managerial job. Uh, and then you've got, of course, the big name uh, you're hearing so much, so often. Joe Espada, I have been talking about him quite a bit uh, on this podcast. Uh, and I guess, you know, uh, just thinking about this, you know, if the Yankees 
uh, would have beaten the Astros, maybe an announcement on Espada would have been uh, able to be made. Uh, White Sox are not uh, the only team interested in Espada. Uh, this is from Craig Mish, a senior baseball contributor uh, for MLB Network, host of a Miami Marlins podcast. This is what he said on Twitter. Uh, by my count, the Marlins have interviewed at least 10 managerial candidates once, and four of those candidates received second interviews. This is by far the most extensive interview process I can recall by the organization in quite some time. Uh, others uh, in the know uh, have also reported uh, that Joe Espada makes so much sense for the Marlins uh, the next manager ex is expected to also be a teacher. Espada has been a hitting coach and infield instructor in minors, uh, has a lot of MLB coaching playoff experience. Question is if he ends up uh, with the White Sox. Uh, I believe Marlins fans are holding their breath, thinking that the White Sox might, might be uh, more uh, attractive of, of a situation. Uh, this from John Heyman, insider from MLB Network. Maybe you saw this. Uh, Marlins are down to four finalists, and a decision is expected soon. Skip uh, Shoemaker, uh, Joe Espada, Matt Quattraro, and a mystery candidate. How about that? Uh, the mystery man is apparently not Raul Ibanez, uh, who had a great interview but dropped out because the timing isn't right. Uh, also, you just kind of have to wonder and speculate. You never know what the New York Yankees are going to do. They just got swept by the Houston Astros. Um, will they part ways with Boone? Uh, maybe they want to try to bring back uh, Joe Espada. Remember, Espada uh, was with the Yankees as an infield coach and third base coach in 2015. Uh, we as Sox fans will just have to wait and see, but there sure seems to be a lot of interest uh, in Espada. Tim Anderson flipped his bat in 2019, and nothing has been the same. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, but I'm going to tell you why Anderson has been up to the task. Uh, more on that uh, in a moment. BetOnline.net is your number one source for betting football and the start of the new basketball season. Find all the latest player developments, team matchups, news, podcasts, and in-depth analysis on every game. And as always, BetOnline remains your continued source for all your sports wagering information with live betting and up-to-the-minute scores for every sport out there. The fastest and easiest way to check in on all your favorite games and events, including MLB, MMA, boxing, and golf. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to learn more. Bet online where the game starts. Tim Anderson uh, was set to have a breakout year in 2022. Uh, over the last few years, he has become the face of the organization. The change the game mentality oozes uh, out of Tim Anderson. He has become a vocal leader, uh, but has rubbed a lot of people uh, throughout baseball the wrong way. Uh, there are even White Sox fans uh, that are questioning whether or not he should be the face of the White Sox moving forward. And maybe, just maybe, a guy like Elvis Andrews would be a better solution uh, at shortstop. Uh, Tim Anderson, no question about this. He has come a long way since being drafted 17th uh, overall by the White Sox in 2013. Uh, Anderson came to baseball later in life, but that did not stop the White Sox from taking a chance on him. Uh, Anderson made his debut for the Sox on June 10th, 2016. That was Robin Ventura's last stand as manager and the last season before the great rebuild uh, began. Uh, Anderson was definitely serviceable in 2017 and 2018, uh, but it was in 2019 uh, when he arrived. Uh, Tim led all of baseball with a 335 average. Uh, he slugged 508 in 123 games for the Sox that year and also had that bat flip. Uh, heard round the world against Brad Keller of the KC Royals early in the season in April. Sox, of course, ended up turning it into a bobblehead giveaway. 
Uh, T.A. Uh, was becoming an exciting fan favorite. He had an edge and a swagger to him in 2021. Uh, he not he was uh, an all-star uh, in 2021, uh, but he also hit one of the greatest walk-off home runs during one of the most memorable games ever. Uh, of course, talking about the Field of Dreams game against the Yankees, he was getting national attention, and he was living up to the moment. Uh, Anderson, you know, he doesn't walk very much at all, uh, but has been a solid leadoff hitter for the Sox. Uh, hamstring injuries and ankle issue have hampered Anderson over the years. Uh, the White Sox are a completely different team when he's not in the lineup. Folks will say the way Tim Anderson goes is the way the White Sox go. Uh, he brings he brings that. He brings that special uh, that something special to the White Sox. We saw that in 2021, and unfortunately, uh, you know, there was just an injury that kind of cut a, a very promising 2022. Uh, Tim Anderson will most likely never come close uh, to winning a gold glove. Uh, he has not only had fielding issues, but also throwing issues since he arrived in 2016. Often, I don't know if you see this. Uh, I'm sure you do watching the game, whether it's in person uh, or on TV, however you consume uh, White Sox games. But often it seems like he is so athletic that he per perhaps tries to do too much uh, and finds himself all out of sorts, whether it's not setting his feet before a throw or simply just not getting into proper fielding position. Uh, Anderson is no stranger to E6. Uh, Tim had a great start to 2022. Uh, his defense uh, still had holes and probably always will, but his offense was at an all-star level, which helped him get voted in as the starting shortstop for the American League at the Midsummer Classic. It has been a while since the Sox had a starting shortstop in the all-star game. Uh, the national attention was clearly uh, getting bigger for Tim Anderson. Now, there were some off-the-field rumors uh, that perhaps were the catalyst to a decrease in production this past season. Uh, then in early August, Anderson suffered an injury to a tendon in his left middle finger. That would require a surgery, and the injury would uh, ultimately become season-ending. A promising season for Anderson was cut short, and maybe, just maybe, the White Sox truly went the way of Tim Anderson. An unfortunate injury and rumors of problems in his personal life played havoc on a promising season for Anderson. I'm going to tell you why Anderson is not going anywhere and will come back stronger. And more on that in a moment. In 2022, uh, Tim Anderson played in just 79 games. He slashed 301, 339, 395. He hit six home runs and had 25 uh, RBIs. Uh, Anderson's numbers started plummeting in late June. Uh, there were some rumors going around on social media uh, in mid-June about his personal life. And, you know, it sure seemed like when the rumors uh, came about uh, Anderson uh, seemed to be a different player, uh, almost like he just had too much going on uh, behind the scenes. Uh, nobody knows the truth, and, and I'm not going to spend time judging his personal life, but you just got to wonder if Tim Anderson was fighting uh, to stay focused. It sure seemed that way from my perspective. Uh, Anderson is 29 years old and is a free agent uh, in 2023, but there are team options for 2023 and 2024. Uh, he is a homegrown talent, uh, someone that has become the absolute face of the franchise. Uh, will he be extended? Will he stay in a White Sox uniform for his career? Do you want him to? The White Sox have never signed a player to a $100 million deal. Uh, obviously, the biggest deal was the Yasmani Grandal deal, four years, $73 million. Uh, the Sox are one of a few teams in all of baseball to hold that distinction, unfortunately. Uh, could Tim Anderson be the first $100 million man? Uh, 2023 is an extremely important year for the White Sox for several reasons. 
And I do believe a healthy, focused Tim Anderson is necessary for the success of the White Sox. I don't think that's a hot take or going out uh, on a limb uh, or anything. I don't see him being traded, as some accounts uh, on Twitter have suggested, and I do not see him being moved to second base, especially if the Sox bring back Andrews. Tim Anderson is the shortstop. He is the leadoff hitter until proven otherwise. Uh, I hope he gets himself right, uh, both physically and mentally, because I think when things are going good for him, uh, there's nobody more exciting to watch. Uh, I have high expectations for Tim Anderson in 2023, and I think he will come back stronger than uh, ever. Folks, I really appreciate you making this podcast part of your daily routine. You can find the Lockdown White Sox podcast absolutely everywhere you find your podcasts. Uh, we are on Twitter at Lockdown Sox. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Nick underscore uh, GGTV. Uh, thanks for making Lockdown White Sox your first listen. For your next listen, check out the Locked On Sports Today podcast. Uh, the biggest stories of the day, plus instant reactions, big game recaps, and the take of the day. Available on the Odyssey app, YouTube, and wherever uh, you get your podcasts. Coming up on the next episode, I am really excited for this one. It has been 17 years. Let's remember the champs, the 2005 Chicago White Sox. Hopefully you can join me for that. Really appreciate you making time for the Lockdown White Sox podcast. Uh, I'm Nick Morawski, and until next time, go Sox.